Hello, welcome to Fairy and Spoil. I want to talk to you today about itchy dogs in autumn. So, we are in September now, middle of September, and I have found that autumn dogs can be more itchy than they are in spring. And the reason that they get itchy is because the leaves falling off the trees, they produce spores and that can make dogs itchy. There's things like there are more moulds in the air. There's just more stuff in the air. And I found this year that my hay... Well, I don't know if you could still call it hay fever, but I've been worse than I, than I was in the spring. Like my throat, I've got a sore throat. I feel like I've got grit in my eyes. And Harry, who is actually up there being groomed at the moment, he has got quite itchy. Now, if you know my channel, you know I'm a bit fanatical about dog food and I talk endlessly about how grains in dog food make dogs itchy. And yeah, sure, they do, no question about that. But when you're dealing with allergies, seasonal allergies, even if you're feeding your dog a grain-free diet, it can still they can still get itchy. And so I just want to talk to you about some of the things that I'm doing with, with Harry every day. So the thing with this is, is that it is the actual pollen that is making him itch so I need to get rid of that pollen so when we're out walking if I can at the moment there aren't actually like big piles of leaves on the floor we haven't hit that season yet but even though we haven't actually hit that yet it doesn't matter he's still getting itchy from the and, and I like I said and I'm getting my symptoms but if there were piles of leaves when we're out I would be avoiding them but there isn't but so just walking on our normal walks is causing itching so I would avoid piles of leaves if I came across them when we get back from our walk, what I do is I'm wiping him down. Now, I just use, I'm just using these wipes at the moment. Nothing sponsored, you know me. It's not sponsored, it's what I use because it's best for my dog. Um, so I'm just using these um, pet wipes. Um, I like these because they're big and so they give um, the dog a really good wipe down. I just got these from Pets at Home. No, I didn't. I got these from Asda when I did my shopping. Yeah, I got them from Asda when I did my shopping. Um, they're really, really good. But you can just use baby wipes, you know, just normal baby wipes for your baby. You can just use them and wipe them all down because... <laughs> here's Humps. <laughs> You're right, my darling. Wipe them all down because you want to get the pollen off them. If you have control of their fur, then keep their fur really short. So at the moment, like I said, Harry is up on the table being groomed. And he we're going to take his fur down really short so that I can wipe any pollen off the skin really easily the other thing I'm doing is is because he's he's not actually having particular points of him that are itchy he's just generally itchy in other years it's been just his paws that have got itchy but this year he just generally has an itchiness about him um, and so you know again if you know my channel you will know I am this stuff I can't go on about this stuff enough it for years and years and years it just endlessly does such a great job um, and it's Johnson's Tea Tree Skin Calm. Now, the thing is, it comes in this spray and it also comes in this cream. Now, this cream is absolutely brilliant if you've actually got... The sun is shining very odd in this video. If you've actually got an actual wound, then this cream is fantastic. But I haven't actually got an actual wound. It's just generally itchy. And so I'm finding that this spray, as always, as I always have done over the years, is absolutely brilliant. And it's got quite a watery, liquidy kind of consistency. And so you're able to actually spray it all over the dog and then really, really rub it in. And I am spraying it all over him so he's quite wet and then really, really rubbing it in. If your dog doesn't like being sprayed with it, the great thing about this is, is that you can... Sorry, it's all blurry. I don't know why. I think it's the way the sun's shining. Um, but what you can do is you can spray it on your hands, get your hands really wet, and then just rub your hands all over the dog. But really, really, really rub it in. And I found that if he's having a little itchy episode, that really, really is helping to reduce the itching so much. It's so effective. Now, I know some of you around the world aren't able to get hold of this stuff. So what you need is you need a spray that is quite liquidy in consistency because you couldn't just cover the whole dog in cream that would be a right old mucky old mess and that isn't going to work but you do need a spray or a cream but it's got to be really thin in consistency so that's Harry there he's just come off the grooming table I mean he's the one that's suffering with this at the moment and then if 
um, there has been a point, which there was the other day, where he was scratching and he caught himself with his nail. And so he did make a little mark. Then I um, used this cream and just rubbed the cream in. If you don't know what it is, look, Johnson's Tea Tree Skin Cream. And from like I said, a lot of you haven't been able to get hold of it. But what I have found out is that um, it's the tea tree. So you just get a dog cream. Please never put neat tea tree on a dog. It, it can be dangerous for them. It has to be mixed in with the right quantities. I'm just looking at my kitchen. looks like an absolute state. <laughs> Generally, it's very tidy. We're just... It's grooming day, and so we've got all our grooming equipment out. The other thing is that the keeping the floors clean. So I hoover my floors every day. Now, I tend to do that anyway because Humps here produces hair like no one on this earth. He's a, he's a corgi mix, and um, so he produces an awful lot of hair. And so I just hoover every day. I just quickly... I've only got a little house, so it helps no end. I just quickly whip around with the hoover. And that's really important because if you've got the pollen on the floor... And, Especially me, I mean, I've always got, like, back doors always open. I've always got back doors and windows open. And so the pollen is coming in and it's just going to be laying on the floor, whether you've got carpets or floors. And so I hoover every day. I have a mix of this lino flooring and rugs. So I'm hoovering everything every day. And then I'm mopping every day. So I just use the, um, the flash speed mop. Again, nothing's ever sponsored. And I've just found it to be absolutely brilliant for dogs. And it really is good at just picking things up and it's just so quick. But, you know, however, whatever you use for your mop, it's really important because you need to be getting the pollen off the floor. Because like you can see now, so yeah, they've just had their dinner and now they're being groomed. And so they're just hanging around in the kitchen and they're lying on the kitchen. But they lie on the kitchen, they lie on the floor a lot, my boys, especially in the summer when it's warmer. I mean, even though in September, it's still quite warm. And so they do lie around on the floor a lot and... They're picking that pollen up and it's the pollen on the skin. And it's that straightforward. This isn't... When you are feeding your dog's grains through their dog food, that is making their skin itchy from the inside. But when you're dealing with allergies like this, it's making their skin itchy from the outside, which actually makes it easier because all you've got to do is get rid of the pollen and you've sorted the problem. It's nowhere near as complicated as dealing with the problem of you putting grains into your dog and it coming through the skin from the inside. So you just need to get rid of the actual pollen. So... Keeping your floors nice and clean is important. And so, you know, I just every day quit whip round with it and just reduce the pollen and that helps. The other thing is that the um, their paws, sometimes you'll get dogs this time of year and it's just their paws that get really, really itchy. The rest of them doesn't. Like I said, Harry last year, that was what happened to him. It was just his paws that got itchy, not the rest of him. So if that is the case, just... What I used to do was, he hasn't actually got itchy paws at the moment. It's not his paws, it's really odd. It's just the rest of his body. But what I'd, you could do is, and I have done in the past, is either get a really, really wet flannel and wash down the paws, or just have a little bowl and just dip their paws into the bowl, give them a bit of swish around, and just get any pollen off. Because again, I'm, I don't know about your dogs, but when I get when we get back from our walk, one of the first things my boys do is sit down and have a good old lick of their paws. So they're just going to be licking that pollen. So... That's all well and good, but if your dog won't let you touch their paws, or you, for whatever reason, you know, you, you just can't do that with your dog. Another thing you can do, and I've done this in the past and it's really handy, is in a doorway that you know they're definitely, definitely going to have to walk through, put a wet towel and make it really quite wet. And then the dog has to walk on that towel and then that will wipe off the pollen from their feet. And that's a very effective way of doing it. So, my darling, you've been groomed. You look like a handsome boy, don't you? You look like a handsome boy being all groomed. You've itchy skin, haven't you, sweetheart? But it's okay because we've got all the stuff and we're helping you, aren't we? And it is definitely reducing. That's the other thing. So this started about a week ago. And I, re I knew it, realised it was the season and all of that. Um, and so we're... No, not even a week. Maybe four days ago. And so now I'm, you know, doing all the things I've just said. And he's much, much better. About four days ago, I was having to give him a good spray down two or three times a day, and I was having to do it before night and really keep doing it. Now, I did it once a day, but that was only a small patch of his body. It wasn't his whole body. So putting all those measures in place is really keeping um, the itching down. The other thing is that if you're going to spray like I have been, um, do it. I did it before they settled down for the evening because I didn't want him to have to get through the whole night because the chances are that he wouldn't and he'd be really itchy and you really need to resist them scratching themselves with their paws. I'm so against putting a collar on the you know the cones around their face 
so that they can't scratch. I mean, that must just be torture to not be able to get at something. And don't kid yourself. They'll still find a way to scratch it. And anyway, the, the problem is, is with their, their paws. So you're not really achieving an awful lot. If your dog is itchy and it's not this time of year and you don't think it's anything to do with this, I've got a whole playlist about hotspots and I unfortunately have way too much experience with hotspots. Please go and watch that because that might be what is causing your dog to be itchy. It might not be that it's this time of year. But on the other hand, if you've dog you've taken your dog off the grain of grain food and he's on a grain free food or you're home cooking like I do sometimes um and then he starts itching this time of year don't be thinking that well I've taken him off the grain free food he's on grain free food it's not working it's just that it's the time of year and you know it's gonna it could get any one of your dogs no matter what, what food you're feeding them if you've got them on grains this time of year is just going to make everything so much worse so get them onto a food that's grain free. If you go to look at that and you think there's no way my budget will allow for that, remember you can home cook it. Actually, I've just I've just cooked a load here. This is what I've been doing. I've just cooked a load in the oven of home cooked food for them. I did um, a lot of research into this, what they required, what they needed, and and to do it all really really cheap. And I got it in a third of the price that you would pay for a dog food that's grain free. And if you go to um, well, actually, I'll put that. I'll put uh, yeah. I'll put that video up at the end. I'll put the video up at the end. The um, cheap recipe is grain free. It's healthy and it's cheap. But if you're having other issues with itching, go to playlists and go to hotspots, and then read all of that in there. So that's that today, isn't it, my darling? We're getting you sorted out. Dogs are just one problem after another, really. Sometimes, aren't they? Bless their little hearts. So that's it. So as always, you know where I am, it, uh, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. And if you've got any questions about this at all, don't hesitate. Don't ever think, oh, I don't know, I don't want to bother her or, you know, please. The whole point of fur and spoil is to help dogs. So if you've got any questions at all about your dog itching or anything for that matter, pop them into comments. I'm more than happy to help. And a lot of you private message me on Instagram and I'm very, that's fine if you want to do that. So um, that's it then. We will leave you today so um, i hope that you all have a lovely day and we will see you in the next video bye bye